Hi, I'm Omar Pell, environment artist with Words and Softworks, and today we'll be going over the topic of what detail normals are and how can we create one in Unreal Engine super fast and easy way. So I'll open this material setup and we're going to talk about what detail normals are. Detail normals are pretty much extra layer of uh, normal detail that we can easily add to our mesh without uh, too much cost because the fact that they use pretty low uh, resolution normal map detail these are for um, normal mapping specific areas later on after you've textured it uh, that adds a great detail uh, to the mesh so I'll just drag and drop this and as you can see there's this uh, rocky patterns uh, across the mesh here and it's derived from this detail normal that we've got here and it's uh, 256 by 256 which is pretty low and um, let's see how big it is so it's uh, around I don't think I can see now but all right but it's it's pretty low in uh, you know megabytes um, I don't know if I'm blind now or not but I can't see but anyways it's pretty low and the thing about these is that they tile, uh, just like trim sheets or any other, um, you know, tiling textures that they tile so that you're able to add uh, details tiling across this mesh. Now, um, this is already set up in a way that it's affecting the whole mesh. This is something that you perhaps want to do. Maybe you've, uh, you don't want to add too much another extra layer of normal detail and you just want to go with the low res and something that you want to add later after you painted your mesh um, you could go away with this so it affects the whole mesh uh, first of all i'm going to talk about what that is uh, and we're going to break it down in the material setup and it's super super simple um, first of all we got uh, the basic texture coordinates to tell that we can tile the sky so this is the tiling parameter so if i just you know um, play around with this it's going to tile across accordingly uh, it's using a multiply note and then we plug that into the uv um, then we this is also another optional thing uh, it's flattening normal so this is basically um, you know the the harshness the uh, the detailing amount that's there the more you go up the more it's going to be subtle so let's go for like uh, 0.8 as you can see it's pretty much only almost gone um, but this is the, like affecting the flatness of the normal. So we have a flatness normal, the normal detail being fed in here. And then the parameter again, vector one node telling the flatness. And then we have our normal UV, which is uh, the UV, the normal data that you know we just baked in. This was super something simple, uh, sculpted in ZBrush. And then um, we use blend angle corrected normals. This is pretty much, as you can see in the uh, parentheses, typically this would be a detail map. It's uh, correcting the normal direction. This is also for um, correcting the normal details. So it's not, detail normals are not necessarily extra detail, but they also pretty much correct them as well. Um, and then they're overlaid on top of the other maps. And then we just plug our base normal and the additional coming out from the flattened normal to here and then plug that into our normal. And that's how quickly you can set up one super easily. But there's the topic of what if I don't want it to affect the whole mesh, but a portion of it. So um, I just want it around where dust would collect or something like that. And that uh, we can do that in Painter. So I have the uh, mesh in here, super simple, just the concrete that I've attached from the library uh, and then some dust. Um, what if I want, um, let's say, the cracks to appear just like where the dirt are or somewhere else? And the way you can do that is uh, by using masks, and then we're going to copy the mask. So I'm just going to add in a fill layer, and then I'm going to add in a black mask and add a generator. So let's go for, um, let's say, curvature. So curvature is affecting these areas. Um, Perhaps, let's say, I mean, you can also just use something like, uh, you know, uh, map selection like this, and then just select a portion of it. So you have a lot of options for you for you to decide. But if you do this kind of approach, uh, the tiling is going to be very obvious. Like there's going to be a seams where the detail normal starts and ends. So you want to make sure that um, that actually 
that does not happen as best as you can. So instead you can go with something like a generator just for the purpose of the video. I'm gonna like go with the curvature. So uh, let's let's increase it up a little bit so that we can see when the detail normal is affecting. So this pretty much means that um, this is where the um, detail normal is going to affect these white areas. All right, and that's very, uh, we can see that in our mask. And the way we can do that is just right click on the mask and say export mask to clipboard. And when we do this, this basically means that it's copying the layer to your, you know, it's just like copying an image in a file explorer. It's going to um, copy that to your clipboard. And then I'm going to open the Photoshop file. Um, and then I'm just going to paste that in. And this is our mask. This is pretty much where uh, the detail normal is going to be apparent. So I'll just go ahead and file, save as, um, I'll go to here and I'll just choose PNG and I'll ch say this, uh, detail normal underscore, oh, ways, detail normal underscore mask. And I'm just going to save that as is. Let's op go back to Unreal. Um, I'm going to go back to my file from the other screen real quick. And I'm just going to drag and drop my mask here. There we go. There's our mask. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is introduce the mask to uh, use the specific parts of it. And that is also very simple. We're just going to use a, a lerp node for that. So let's just put that there. Let's put this here in some space. Um, I'm going to add in a lerp. And instead, I'm going to plug this result to B. And because this is an alpha, uh, it's, you know, it's black and white. Uh, we can just plug this to an alpha. Now, when we do this, uh, we have another uh, information that's being left alone. And if we do this, uh, it's not going to look good because this still needs a constant information to alert between A and B. And of course, mix that with the alpha. And the way we can uh, go over with that is add in a uh, constant three vector make this guy pure blue so that it basically fills in the other data that we're not going to be filling in and plug this into the LA channel and then plug this to our additional. And once we do that, um, I don't know how obvious that can be, but um, we are going to have the rock uh, texture effect wherever we've uh, actually it's very prominent here. So let's just say for now this. Right, go there, and then uh, oh, save, and then uh, as you can see, where we've said the it's, it's very subtle because that's uh, basically what detail normals are. They're additional detailing uh, that's going to actually complement to the, what's there. Uh, but the way we can actually see how it's affecting is if I. Um, you know, use the flatness of this. So if I go one, as you can see this, there, there was some rock here, it just disappeared. And if I bring it, there's this small detailing touches. And of course this also depends on, I've just chosen a random, I mean, this rock doesn't really make sense on something like this, but just to demonstrate purposes, uh, you know, I've chosen a very generic uh, normal base. Uh, but again, uh, it all depends. So we have a tile like this. Yeah, if we actually tile better, um, you can see that there is a very subtle touch that we're adding as a detail um, to our mesh. That's already looking good. And again, you can just tile this across uh, however you like, just because we've you know added the uh, tiling parameter back there. Uh, oops, I'm getting some. Yeah, there we go. Um, tiling parameter there um, and that's allowing us to play with the tiling and this is allowing us to play with the parameter and that's basically adding small amount of detail with just using uh, 128 or 256 texture resolution that uh, is really really a uh, low in cost but adds additional layering effect to to the uh, to the mesh if you want to um, Let's say that you have a mask and it's only affecting these type of masks, but it, let's say that you have a wood, metal, and you know different portions of the uh, mesh. So this part is 
uh, metal, the spar is wood, and you know they would have different normal detailing because you know a wood would have something like lines going across, or a metal would have some scratches, details, or that kind of stuff. And to do that, you can again use the same uh, procedure: pack the textures into RGB channels, and then just you know plug this into alpha of another lerp, this to another lerp, this to another lerp. Ultimately, all of them together to one lerp and then again to the blank corrected normals that'll get you this um specific thing it's super simple uh this is the whole setup again we're tiling it we have the normal data uh detail normal we have a flatten uh this is optional but i highly would suggest you to do that so you can see how affecting how it's affecting the thing and um, also maybe it's too harsh or if, if it's too low you can um you can also you know make it more uh, harsh in terms of detailing uh, if you go lower with the number. So uh, again, flatness is going to allow you to play around with that. Um, and then we bring in our mask where we only want a specific portion of the be affecting or if you want it, the mesh to be affected wholly, you can just remove the lerp and the, uh, you know, the mask and then just plug that in directly to the additional normal. We blend that with angle corrected normals with our basic normal that we already had and then plug that into the normal and we have it all there. So uh, I think detail normals are something that uh, can be overlooked by beginner level artists because I've uh, had the same thing going on when I started doing texturing and material setup. It's something that I didn't even know about uh, like I didn't know what detail normals are I've never seen it mentioned here and there but it's actually used a lot in video games to add additional levels of detail with very low cost so I hope this video was useful and I'll see you in the next time